Okay, guys, one more thing before we start. Uh, although you could follow along in whatever directory structure you wanted to and do your own stuff, I kind of wanted to make sure that we all had the capability of working from a common directory structures and with common files so that we could all do the same things if we wanted to. So, because whenever I've taught this, I've had people look through their own files and sometimes that's hit and miss. So, what I want you to do is go to Google and search for writers 21578. R U T E R S 21578. You hit enter. And from here, um, the Reuters data set is a very, very common data set. It appears all over the internet. So if one of these websites goes down, there will be other websites where you can get it, which is great. So could you please go to the first one, this David D. Lewis website? And what David D. Lewis has requested on his website is to, he's actually guided people. He's like, hey, if you're going to download it, don't do it from me. I don't have the bandwidth. Download it from UCI. So go to this link here for their collection. And now you can see I'm on the UCI data site. And this is the Reuters 21578 text categorization collection. Good. I'm going to download this tar gzip file. By the way, I'm on a Mac. Um, other people are on Linux boxes. The difference between the two as, uh, is going to be, basically the two are going to be identical, except for the fact that occasionally I'm going to say use control if I say use say hit Control A or Control B on Mac, it's actually hit Open Apple A or Open Apple B. That's the only difference between the two of them uh, that you're going to need to care about. Other than that, I'm going to do this in as completely platform agnostic way as possible. So I'm not going to use Mac's built-in software to to do anything with this. What I'm going to do is go straight to a terminal window. In Mac, I work with uh, iTerm two. Uh, you can work with Terminal if you want to. I strongly recommend you download iTerm2. It's a really good terminal. Uh, and if you're in your main directory, which you can tell, I'm going to cd into my main directory. So here's my main directory. Go to your downloads directory. And if you're on Linux, do the same thing. Go to wherever this thing was downloaded and hit ls so that you can see it. Once you've done that, do the following. Hit tar-xzf that thing, writers 21578.tar.gz. And hit enter. And what you're going to find is that they did exactly the wrong thing. You're going to find it dumped a whole bunch of files into this directory, which is maddening because I'm, the very last lesson is don't do that, and I'll teach you why you shouldn't do that. In any case, what I want you to do from here at this point is make directory, mkdir, writers, and hit enter. And then I want you to hit up and hit make der Reuters slash SGMS. Enter. And then hit up and replace that with texts, TXTS. And hit enter. And then you're going to move. You can either copy files using CP or you can move them using MV. I'm going to move all the files that end with SGM to Reuters. SGMs. And I'm going to move all the files that end with TXT to Reuters TXTS. Hit enter. And LS. Good. And we're going to uh, we're going to keep everything. We can just keep it like this. So in the Reuters, actually you can move the you can move the Lewis thing if you want to. You can move Lewis over to the Reuters directory. And that's cool. And so CD into the writer's directory and hit LS. And you should see this. If you've got this, we are good to go. And we should be great for doing everything working from an exactly similar directory structure and exactly the same files. So you can run the same commands as I do throughout all of this if you want to. Cool. Okay, uh, our first lesson is going to be about how to navigate around on the command prompt. I hope this series of lessons is really useful for you. So good luck. Have some fun.